Hello one, hello all. It's been a very long time since we've been able to all meet here with smiling faces in congregation. I'm very happy to see you all up and about and ready to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Firstly, let me just say thank you for all your generous donations to the recent food drive. The times may be dark, but our community spirit has remained as strong as ever. I'd like to invite you to extend that spirit of giving as we move forward into our next round of charities, of course focused on those of us in our community who have been lost in the recent attacks. And on that note, I would like to give a moment's silence to those who are no longer with us, those who are lost in mind, and those seeking the light in the Exodus Access Schemes and Orange Therapy. Thank you. Now we shall begin our liturgy. I thank you all for being here once again. And you say, why now? Why does he choose to test us now? Why again? Why like this? Well, you see, there's no test. The tests and trials came before. Matthew tells us that we shall endure great hardships and that Christ's second coming will be the death of those hardships. Luke tells us that the rapture shall be innocuous and discreet and altogether ambiguous. Corinthians says that Christ shall return from among us, and many believe that, indeed, that means he's already here. That surely all sounds a little loopy. Now what do I mean, everyone? I mean that the end times are nigh. The chosen hour is upon us. God's plan is almost complete. The book of Genesis tells us that we chose our fate. The Acts record us living under its dome. And Revelations assures us that we will have seven years of judgment, seven years of tribulation, before our eternal fate is decided, every individual for himself. So, I ask you, my brothers and sisters, what fate shall we choose? Do we walk this hour in the darkness that we've been waiting in these last few years? Or do we put the work in now and look up to God? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not unto our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. <laughs>